going to give you Majang and Rush. Uh, thank you very much, and once again, I'm very thankful from CMS to provide this opportunity for us to present our presentation. Thank you very much, and thank you from your husband Link. Our um, title of presentation is Beyond Bamiyan, and we are, as mentioned, Nancy and Atifajan, faculty members of social sciences, anthropology and archaeology department. Visiting a Scholars Cultural Heritage Conservation Program 2013, the main goal of this program, as mentioned, improve Kabul University faculty knowledge and understanding um, of heritage conservation theory, and also sustainability and continuity of cultural heritage preservation depend, depends <coughs> on the success of this goal and our follow-up efforts and educational activities. And also develop new information to share with the faculty and students at Kabul University, also create new curricula to complete current courses and research, foster relationship in the international heritage conservation profession, and also share Afghanistan cultural heritage, history, and challenges with Kabul, uh, with colleagues in Arizona. University of Arizona departments as partners, as mentioned, um, colleagues of architecture planning landscapes, Architecture Kapala, the University of Arizona Libraries, also the Arizona State Museum, and National Park Service. I'm going to talk about a little about the higher education uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, Kabul University is the largest in a public university in Afghanistan and established in 1932. It has a faculty program and uh, the total students in Kabul University are, are around 70,000. We have uh, the number of um, public university and also private with the public uh, total um, is 29 and we have 89 uh, private university in Afghanistan. And also a social sciences faculty is established in 1980 and it has four departments like anthropology and archaeology, uh, philosophy and sociology, general history, and contemporary Afghanistan history. And our total um, students in social sciences faculty are around 1,226. And also our anthropology and archaeology department established in 1981 and it has 11 academic Mm, faculty members, uh, two women faculty, which we, who we are here, me and Ms. Arian, and also our total student in anthropology and archaeology departments around 377, and the total female students are 60. This is the political box of Afghanistan and shows that Afghanistan has a border with these countries in the north, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan and south and southeast with Pakistan, and west with Iran, and, and northeastern with China. Afghanistan is a landlocked country, and there is no coastline or seaport, and also the major city of Afghanistan, located um, in border in Kandahar in west, Herat in, um, in south, Herat in west, and also uh, Logar, Mazar Sharif, Kabul, Ningrahar, these are the major city of Afghanistan. And also we have uh, 40 major ethnic groups. Um, some um, anthropologists and archeologists identified more than 55 uh, ethnics in Afghanistan, but the measure of them, um, as you, the maps showing, is the major groups uh, that the most largest um, their ethnics in Afghanistan is Pashtun, and the followed Tajik, Hazara, Uzbek, Turkmen, and Baluch. And this is the color shows the ethnics of Pashtun who live in the, mostly in uh, South Afghanistan. And historical uh, points of Afghanistan, the cross road of Asia, where the story of Afghanistan dates back to uh, 50,000 up to 20 BC. It start from Zoroaster and uh, Greek rule, Indian Greek Buddhist, and Arabs introduced Islam in 6052 AD. 
an invasion of Afghanistan by uh, Genghis Khan in 2019, and also Mark Blo cross Afghanistan in 2073. Babur found founder of Mughal dynasty takes control of Kabul in 2004. And also, yeah. uh, we can mention from the rule of Ahmad Shah Abdali, uh, consultation and enlargement of Afghanistan in 1797, the first Anglo war, the second Anglo war, and third Anglo war was, war was in 1921. The US formally recognized Afghanistan in 1934 and the Afghanistan Community Party was uh, scrapely formed in 1965. And uh, overthrow of King Zahir Shah by his cousin, 1973, bloody communist cap and invasion by Soviet Union, civil war, the Taliban, militia was born and their massive gains in 1994, 2001. And US invasion December in 2001. This is selected resources for your further formation and we can mention from uh, the more detailed of historical chronological events from 1747, we can mention from Professor Imaros at the University of Arizona, Lake Adamak, School of Middle Eastern and North African Studies. And uh, this is the cultural highlights of Afghanistan. This is the well, uh, this is the Buddha, this is the Bamiyan province, and this is the, it shows the value of Bamiyan. And Bamiyan is a one of the most um, popular uh, province in Afghanistan, which has lots of archaeological and historical sites. And uh, these two pictures showing, uh, showing that uh, the Buddha statue, and this um, before uh, this statue show, showing this um, picture before 2001, and this Buddha, the statue was destroyed by Taliban in 2001. Al-Masainak uh, Buddhist Center is another archaeological site uh, which is very famous and uh, currently the excavation are going on in this site and this site uh, dates um, back to from 2nd to um, 9th century CE and it's a very the largest project, uh, archaeological project in Afghanistan, and we have monastery architecture, some artifacts. One thing which is more important here, the, um, the second largest copper mine is located next to this archaeological site, and um, this is a really uh, a unique place, archaeological place in Afghanistan, and currently the work is, is going on, and um, the the this site, um, the period uh, starts from Koshan period up Islam. We have still uh, some artifacts which is, uh, have been discovered from the site shows uh, Islamic period also. So, and this is Afghanistan National Museum established in 1919, and as the a picture is showing uh, the building of National Museum uh, during the Civil War. And after that, after reconstruction, uh, after 2001, this is the building of National Museum. According to report of National Museum, 70% uh, of um, artifacts or collection uh, in Afghan uh, National Museum has been stolen and smuggled out abroad. And, uh, but after 2001, by the um, uh, international community and also um, uh, Afghanistan <laughs> government efforts to restore this collection again. And uh, we can mention from the uh, Oriental Institute and Chicago University uh, that uh, has a relationship and a program and uh, National Museum for restoring uh, these artifacts. And also uh, the international community's efforts in returning cultural objects. Uh, after 2001, the government of Afghanistan um, suggested from international community to, um, for assistance to return these artifacts again to Afghanistan. Uh, according to their uh, reports, more than uh, 60,000 artifacts has been returned to Afghanistan. And uh, also we have a red list by ICOM. If you want to know about it, we will send it. 
And one uh, another important thing here is lost region of Afghanistan saved. And it is a big collection of artifacts in Afghanistan uh, that uh, Museum Staff Force saved over 20 thousand objects and also uh, the importance of collection exhibition that traveled the world in 2004 and continues today. After 2001, the government of Afghanistan, by supporting of international community, um, uh, starts work together to uh, exhibit this uh, collection to the world and now it's, this exhibition is held in Australia. And we have some prehistoric significant sites here, which are located in Hindukush Valley, and uh, also we can mention from Nadali, and uh, also this Shotogi, um, this the provinces, which shows a different period of um, history. It start began Stone Age, and Bronze <coughs> Age, Iron Age, but next, but mm, this. Um, that's showing the historical and archaeological sites in Afghanistan. And uh, we have uh, such provinces like Herat, Ghazni, Balkh, Logar, Ningarhar, which have lots of uh, historical and uh, archaeological sites, but they face lots of challenges like uh, lack of professional staff, funding, security, transportation, geographical distance, and educational awareness. Some authorities concerned with the protection, protection of cultural heritage in Afghanistan are Minister of Information and Culture, Director of Cultural Heritage and Ministry of Mining and Geology, Ministry of Higher Education, and also on the outside, Foreign Assistance, World Bank, UN, and DEFA. These challenges to preserve effort in Afghanistan or these challenges have direct impact to preserve and conserve our cultural heritage, our security, poverty, illiteracy, lack of education, corruption, safety and participation of women, professional resources, and funding. And the result of these factors on Afghan cultural heritage are the destruction of ancient and historical monuments and sites, uh, looted antiquities, smuggling of antiquities abroad, illegal excavation by non-professional. The protection of funds from natural resources and mostly geology. Because Afghanistan reaches in mine, but uh, we can mention from metals, copper, oil, gas, uranium, gemstones, but because of many, many challenges like security, lack of uh, professional person, we cannot utilize and, extra, uh, and extract these materials. Yeah. And also protection, preservation of cultural heritage sites and what's the need? We really need to training and education at the institution of higher education, advocacy and awareness of population using social networks and social media, local education and community involvement, train staff and proper site man management and also national and international com commitment to preserve and conserve the protection of cultural heritage sites and historical artifacts, policy creation, implementation, and enforcement, management of foreign operation, and economic development. I would like to acknowledge of US Department of State Cultural Heritage Center and also National Park Service, University of Arizona, to invite us here and participate in a wonderful one of wonderful program, um, cultural heritage program, and Kabul University, especially social sciences faculty, and US Embassy in Afghanistan, and Afghanistan Embassy in Washington, D.C., to for facilitating trip. Yeah. At the end, I want to end my thing with a caution like uh, a nation stays alive when its culture stays alive. Thank you very much. <laughs>